Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload images to your website, how you can resize them to make sure they fit on the different sections, and how you can replace um, images that already exist. So once you log into your dashboard, what you want to do is go to the front end of your website by clicking on your site title here. So this is on the top left. Um, let's go to the gallery page here. And you'll find different images that come with your theme. So say, for example, we wanted to replace this image in the middle. The first thing you want to do is on the top here, click Enable Visual Builder. Give that a couple of seconds to load. And then what you'll do is scroll to the particular image that you want to edit. So if you click the mouse on that section, you'll see the black box here that will appear. So what you want to do is click the second icon on the black box. It will bring up this purple dialog box. Then click the first icon that appears on the image. This will take you to your media library, which comes with pre-installed images that came with this theme. Ideally, you'd probably have your own images that you want to upload. So what you'll do is on the top left here, go to Upload Files, select Files, and choose where those images have been saved. So this could be your desktop, your downloads folder, or an external hard drive that you can connect to your computer. Now, you can also download images from sites like unsplash.com. That's U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H or Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. And these sites provide high definition, copyright free images that you can use. So once you download those onto your computer, just upload them and they'll always be saved here on your media library. But for now, let's say we wanted to replace that image and use this one here. So click on that and on the bottom right, click upload an image and you can see the image has appeared here. Then what you do is on the bottom right, click on this green checkbox to save. And if that's the final change you're making, go to the bottom here, click on the purple icon and on the bottom right here, click save. So this will save all the changes you've made on that page. Once you're finished saving, just click Exit Visual Builder at the top here so that you can go back to the front end of the website. So if I scroll down here, you can see this image was replaced. Now, ideally, you want to ensure that you upload an image whose dimensions fit exactly on the area where you want to put that image. So how do you get to figure out the size of your image? One of the tools we recommend is um, installing an extension called Pick Info. So just search for that on Google. Come here and then click Add to Chrome add extension. So what this extension does is that it helps you um, determine the size of your image. So to know how many pixels length by height a particular image is. Once you've installed that extension, I'll just go back here to the gallery, click on the specific extension find it amongst your list. So pick info, here we go. Then hover the mouse over the particular image that whose dimensions you'd like to find out. So for example, you can see this image here in the middle has the actual dimensions are 526 by 512. So that's how you determine what kind of size or um, your specific image should be. Now, sometimes you'd have cases where your image is too large. So this could probably be, say, 1300 by 1200. And as you can see, the actual, actual dimensions is 526 by 512. So to resize, one of the tools we recommend is um, this tool here or this page here called resizepixel.com. So what you want to do is upload your image to this section. and then give that a couple of seconds to upload your image. And then once you get to this point, so I've uploaded a random image, and as you can see, the dimensions of these are too big, so 1280 by 1280. So the dimensions that were recommended was about 580 by 512. So you'll put just the first one and it will give you closest to the um, accurate dimensions. Then what you want to do is click on resize. So once you've put the dimensions you're trying to achieve, click on resize. 
and you can see down here the original image was 1280 by 1280 and this has now resized to 580 by 580. So the image we were trying to get was 526. You can also put that and it will give you closest to the accurate dimensions. Now once you're done with that just click on download on the bottom right here to download your image to your computer and then use the steps in the first um, in the first part of this video where you'll upload the, that image to your media library and then upload it to using Visual Builder, you can now upload it to this section here. So once you're done, just remember to click save on the bottom right and click save um, to make all the changes that you've done get saved for that page. So once you've installed this extension, pick info, it will always be saved on your computer and you can always use it to note the exact dimensions for a particular image. And once you follow all the steps, you should be all set.